I'm Charlotte Vincent, I'm the Artistic Director of Vincent Dance Theatre and this is Shutdown Film Installation, part of Brighton Festival 2018, curated by David Shrigley. Shutdown is a six screen film installation. It's the first all male production that I've made with Vincent Dance Theatre. It's been an interesting journey as a feminist director to work with an all male cast and try to impose and extrapolate my politics onto and into the work that the men have devised. And it's been a real collaboration, sort of my gaze, seeing their work reflected back and how we process um, a kind of feminist politic through quite a lot of confusion around what it means to be a man. What happened to the new men with their soya frappuccinos and their self-consciously pushed pushchairs? Same old shit still rules. It's a collaboration between Vincent Dance Theatre and Audio Active, which is a charity based in Brighton that works with young men and women uh, around rap, uh, grime, music technology and urban culture. And we've collaborated with several of Audio Active's um, young men to make this show. And in fact, one of them, Eben Flo, uh, is in the work and he performs three fantastic um, pieces of his own spoken word that anchor the piece. And that speaks of his disappointments and confusions and thoughts around what it is to be a young man today. The man of the house shouts loud. The man of the house doesn't do handouts. The man of the house, he stands out. A male icon who applies a firm fist and can channel his fury whilst remaining wordless, he's Michelangelo. We also have two other young men in the work that work alongside and perform alongside the four professional dancers that are part of the BDT Ensemble. Shutdown combines spoken word, choreography, uh, fantastic music and movement to sort of combine, to find the right language to say what we want to say. We're the problem. It's us. It really is. Um, there's no escaping it. Those are the facts. We've been warned about these people, us. Uh, but the reason we know about them is because we are them. As usual, it's a roller coaster of emotion and um, intellectual thought. And I think it's quite an exciting visual piece of work to watch. It lasts one hour, you sit or stand and watch the loop and by the end of it I think you feel quite stirred and moved. The feedback's certainly been that um, we're punching people in the stomach and then soothing them and then making them laugh and then making them cry because they recognise what they see. So he's playing the Jekyll and Hyde but why is man like this? Why? Why am I like this? This piece is questioning, I suppose, vulnerability and surety. It's quite, kind of questioning what choices you make as a man, how you live as a man today. For 25 years I've been making work around the binary of masculine and feminine and in a way this project has encouraged me to really look deeper into the middle ground, let's call it, um, the others, the theys, the its, who don't want to be identified as either male or female. These other people with their menu of options and their spectrum of experiences and their range of wardrobe. We've also explored the extremities of macho culture, gang culture, um, acting out as men, acting being a man, and how that doesn't really serve you in the end. And the other end, which is a kind of uh, softer, more feminine, vulnerable side. In the film installation, you're watching multiple images uh, at the same time. Your eyes are being drawn left and right um, as you watch the layers of the work unfold. This is a new form that our editor, Bozy Vincent, has developed. It's quite an extraordinary experience watching it because you don't just watch it as a film, you watch it as six concurrent films, all playing off each other. Six visual images clashing and helping each other to move the piece along. 
And so the work becomes much more compositionally layered and your point of view is um, sixfold. It's not just one point of view. You're constantly being asked to watch different things coming together, combining to make you think and feel differently about the material that you're seeing. The soundtrack by Jules Maxwell is driving forward the, the bits of narrative that are coming through, the texts that talk very literally of what it's like to be a man. There are um, parts of the soundtrack that draw on the real world, that draw on testimonies from people that I've spoken to, uh, men that I've spoken to around their experiences of living today. Must provide this pressure is a thorn in his side. It's a 24 7 masculine mask. He's any boy trapped in the dark. Where man's manner manifests. But it's not man's natural manner that leaves him depressed. It's the feeling of never being able to have a break. It's the feeling of not being able to have mental health to your closest mate. And it's a feeling man can't shake. The overall impact of the work is highly visual. It's very emotional. It's actually quite funny at times. We have a boy band in there that's quite good fun. In my emotions. Do not make me less of a man Then my emotions do not make me less We have some much darker pieces that talk of men's struggle with depression, with pornography, with um, their own behaviours. Yeah! Do you want some? Do you want some? There is a sense at the end of the work that the young people can take the baton of masculinity and run forwards with it in a much more hopeful way, that, that there is a possibility for change. You're screwing round, screwing up, this is the mess we're in, let's clean it up. You're letting the sides down. Kids are failing, kids are ailing. Time to undo what's been done, start anew. No script, add fun, learn quick, start anew. Men make men, we have the power, let's share it. Pick up the baton and learn to take care of it. I've been making work about um, gender equality and gender politics for um, a very long time. Um, and this is the first piece really where we are perhaps exploring the more vulnerable sides of men and not showing men as perpetrators um, of uh, violent or sort of bad behaviour in society, although there is a bit of that as well. You always do this. And so the piece does touch on those quite um, difficult subjects around mental health and um, I suppose raising awareness of the pressure that young men are under to be something that maybe they're not. You can either sit or stand in the space and look at these six screens playing concurrently for one hour and uh, there's a definite sort of end to the loop of work, but you can come into the work at any time and pick it up. You can drop in for 10 minutes or 20 minutes and see a little section of it. Towards the end of shutdown, there's a sense that um, we can burn the stereotypes and burn the, um, the archetypes and maybe start again. The charcoal becomes the thing that can write a new future for us. What we've put downstairs are some responses to the themes of the work, masculinity and what it's like to live as a young man today, that have been made by young rappers and grime artists um, from Audio Active and The Connected Hub. And the results of their raps were captured and produced by a brilliant youth worker and rap artist called um, John Clark, who works for Audio Active. And I've made some simple videos to go with those. And when you go downstairs, you can watch the results of these young men talking about their feelings about being a man. So downstairs in Onka is an opportunity for audience to leave their mark in the space in charcoal, their responses to either the theme or the work itself. And uh, there have been some really powerful responses, particularly from parents and young people, talking about how suffocated they feel young, man, uh, young men can be in terms of how they express themselves and how the role models for young men really need to change and how all of us need to step up and provide young men with more support to express themselves and to um, find a way forward that suits them. <laughs>